and welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a video about the Whole30 and my experience with it. And I wanted to share some of my advice and things that I learned while doing the Whole30. So hopefully I can encourage other people to pursue the Whole30 and do it for themselves. A quick disclaimer before we get started. I am not an expert or a doctor or a nutritionalist by any means. These are just my opinions and I hope they can encourage you in your Whole30 exploration or journey or if you do it or if you don't do it. Either way, I hope this is helpful for you. I'll give a quick explanation of Whole30, at least how I interpret it, before we get started. Whole30 is a month of not having processed foods a month of eating whole foods, whole vegetables and meats and nuts and eggs. There's no dairy while you're doing Whole30, no gluten or grains. And that is because those things are often found to cause distress or to disrupt a healthy digestion. And they say that's not true for everyone, but you don't know until you completely rid those things from your diet, how they're affecting you. The Whole30 is also about learning more about food and your body and your relationship with food. We have quite a connection to food and it actually controls a lot of what we do. So it's important to know how you have a connection with food and what foods help you feel better or make you feel worse. I wanna share just a little bit about my Whole30 experience. I finished up a couple weeks ago, and the reason I started Whole30 is because I was having issues with my digestion and I couldn't figure out what was causing them. I would feel sick after every meal, no matter what I ate, even snacks, bananas, fruit, vegetables, and bread and yogurt, and it, there would never seem to be one thing that was really triggering the digestion problems that I had or the stomach aches. And I got to a point where I was supposed to go to a graduation party and I was getting ready to go and then realized I can't go because I don't feel well. And it got to the point where I couldn't even get out of bed. I realized that it was becoming an, such an issue that I couldn't do my normal things. I couldn't even eat things that I could normally eat a few months previously and I knew my body was telling me that I needed to change something and since I had heard about Whole30 before and I was aware that one of the best things about Whole30 is learning what is causing your body distress. I really wanted to learn more about it and do the Whole30 so I could figure out in a healthy way what was making me my stomach so upset. I also had the motivation of doing the Whole30 so that I could meet my goals physically. And I say that with caution because I did of course want to lose weight, but I wasn't using the program to do that. And I didn't do the Whole30 to lose pounds so I hit, hit a special number on the scale. I did the Whole30 because in the past two and a half years as I've been trying to lose weight and been unsuccessful, I know and I knew for the longest time that the one thing I really needed to do was clean up my eating. And I had done that. I had taken things out here and there, you know, tried not to have ice cream as much and cake, you know, the big things that are obviously not gonna help you lose weight. And I just wasn't finding success in anything I did. And I didn't wanna do any fad diets or ingesting chemicals to help you lose weight. I didn't want the doctors to just prescribe me medicine so I lose weight. And so I decided to figure out on my own what was going on as much as I could um, by doing Whole30. I wanted to do something that was sustainable, that I could get my body to a point I wanted to be at and be able to maintain that and be healthy. And I just wanted to create a healthier lifestyle altogether. And a couple years ago, I was at my heaviest. I was able to lose 40 pounds, which was fantastic. But when I went on vacation, I came back and I just couldn't get back into my routine the way I had before. And I gained back 20 pounds. And I think so many people experience that same exact thing. And it's discouraging, especially since 
when you first lose your weight, a lot of what you're losing is water weight, but if you gain weight back, it's not necessarily just water weight, you're gaining fat back. At least the way I was eating, I know I was gaining fat back. And then I got to a point where the scale didn't budge, my pants didn't budge, nothing changed, even though I was working out quite consistently. I thought I was eating very clean and nothing was changing. I wasn't hitting goals in the gym that I've been hoping to hit and I've been training with a trainer and we just couldn't get to where I wanted to be. And so all of that plus being sick after eating and you eat what three four times a day just not feeling good at all really motivated me to do the whole 30. after i finished the whole 30 i felt better i felt lighter i didn't weigh myself like they suggest and i swear i had lost 15 pounds i was so excited to weigh myself just to see because i felt so good and i felt like i really had made progress and i got on the scale and i lost six pounds and I was kind of shocked because I felt like I lost so much more and that is huge and that's really an important fact about Whole30 that you have to pay attention to is you're not, you should, you, you just can't do it to lose pounds, lose fat. You can't make that your only reason and motivation because if you do that, you're gonna fail. What you need to do is just look at it as a way to feel better, feel healthier, feel lighter and be able to do things that you haven't done before. And I think that is one of the great things about Whole30 is it really just opens your eyes to how you're living and how you're treating the one body that you get. And I really, really enjoy this program and what it has done for me.